Republicans are out with their plans to redraw Pennsylvania's congressional districts. Political editor John Delano reports Democrats call it an unfair gerrymandering. And if Governor Wolf vetoes it, the plan could quite literally go back to the drawing board. The Pennsylvania primary is just 18 weeks away and still the Republican controlled legislature has not passed a new congressional map. On Tuesday and Wednesday, House Republicans will vote on a map Democrats oppose and Senate Republicans are expected to offer a very different plan of their own. It's kind of a messy puzzling process right now. Carol Cunningham, chair of Fair Districts PA, a citizens group that wants a transparent process with citizen review of maps before they're approved, says this last minute behind the scenes map drawing is a disservice to the public. Normally the congressional map would have been passed by the end of the year. So there's, it, it's puzzling why they haven't done that. There's no reason. It doesn't take that long to draw a congressional map. We know they've had plenty of time. Democrats call this House Republican map a partisan gerrymander because 12 of the 17 districts are likely to elect Republicans and say Democrats were shut out of the map drawing process. The governor will not sign this map. The Democratic Party has not been involved. We've asked to be involved. Republicans say Democrats want the state Supreme Court to draw the congressional map. There hasn't been the engagement because they feel they control the court and you know, they won last time. The failure of Republicans to work with Democratic lawmakers and vice versa is likely to require the court to intervene soon, says Cunningham. I think that's quite likely. Yes, I think that's quite likely. The time is short. And that, she says, means a delay in the May 17th primary. I think it's inevitable that this will all end up at the Supreme Court the Supreme Court will move the primary. On Monday, the state Supreme Court rejected a petition to take up this matter, hoping the legislature will approve a map acceptable to the governor. But they left open the possibility of future petitions. John Delano, KDKA News.